Capricorn. Welcome, welcome. This is your daily five minute read. Uh, we're gonna work this Rebel deck in again today. Give it a quick little shuffle and a cut and then I'll draw the card from the bottom of the deck. I'll set it aside and we won't read it until the very end of the read. Just a little bit of uh, sassy advice to add to what we got going on here. Let's see what the Oracle cards have to say to you today. We'll see if we're talking about uh, love. Maybe we're talking about money. Maybe it's a time for healing or transition in your life. We'll see uh, what the universe has to say to you today. And I feel like we're getting close uh, to something because the cards are starting to shuffle around in my hands here quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a new life, so definitely a new beginning on the way. TikTok. TikTok can speak to a journey over time. It can also speak to uh, the past. I have here and now and here and now. It tends to speak to a need to sort of not live in the past, not live in the future, but for the here and now and appreciate everything that's going on around you and a need to be present. I have Yang, which represents um, a time for action as well. Hmm. And all that glitters, sometimes all that glitters uh, speaks to an illusion. It speaks to something that's not quite what we think it is. I have go the distance, which also ties into uh, a long journey. I feel like you've been on a long journey. I feel like that's what we're speaking to here. And we're getting to a turning point in our life where an opportunity is coming. I do have peace as well. Definitely speaks to inner peace, finding inner peace. I have not for you, which can speak to um, trusting that sometimes the universe blesses us with what she doesn't give us. I also have chop wood. Hmm, interesting because chop wood uh, speaks to having done everything that you can that's in your power to change uh, and the universe having to do her part now and sort of waiting on her and in the meantime just sort of going about your daily business. I have round and round as well which can speak to a cycle. It can also speak to a need to break a cycle. I feel like we're speaking about something being broken, a cycle, cycle being broken, a new beginning. I think an opportunity is coming your way. I have the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords to me is speaking about being true to yourself, being true to this path and this journey that you've chosen for yourself. The Nine of Wands represents a journey over time, something you've been working towards for a while, having to overcome many obstacles. The Six of Swords speaks to moving from a stormier time to a calmer one in your life. And I do believe that it speaks to this opportunity coming your way. The Hierophant uh, represents insight. And I have the Knight of Cups, which speaks to an emotional victory. So I feel like something's coming your way. There's some sort of reward or opportunity from the universe for all of your hard work. I have the Tower card, which represents a disappointing ending. Um, one that was sometimes sudden and unexpected. I feel like it's tied into this knot for you. The Three of Swords, I feel like, is a part of that as well. I've heard it called the Heartbreak card before. So we might have had a relationship uh, that came to an end. And now we're on to a new chapter in our life. I don't see anything negative about this new chapter of your life. I feel like it's going to be a beautiful, positive um, direction for you. The Two of Wands represents choosing a path. I feel like that's what's going on here. This is this new life. This is this go the distance. I have the King of Pentacles here as well. In it, I see the word you. So I feel like it's representing you. And the qualities that go with this King of Pentacles are wealth and success. So I feel like you're going to be moving into a more successful time in your life. I don't necessarily feel like it speaks to money wealth. I feel like it's speaking to a personal wealth and happiness and that inner peace as well. The Five of Cups is a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions so much so that you can't see positive opportunities around you. And I feel like there's an opportunity just around the corner here. The Sun card represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. I believe that's also speaking to this opportunity coming your way. And the Ace of Swords speaks of triumph. I have the Nine of Swords as well. The Nine of Swords can represent feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts, so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. So a lot like this Five of Cups, the cards are encouraging you uh, to move past whatever these emotions are, to not live in the past, and to not worry so much about the future because I feel like whatever path you've chosen, it is the correct one for you. And now you just have to trust that the universe is going to bring an opportunity your way. The Four of Swords represents a need uh, for self-care, for decompression. So taking time to do something that feeds your soul and allows you to relax. So we'll see what the Rebel card has to say to you today. <laughs> you are giving too many fucks. Give zero. So definitely speaking to this need to let go of the past, let go of past hurts, let go of past hangups, 
and also let go of worry for the future and trust that you have chosen the right path and that the universe is going to be bringing an opportunity your way because I feel like there is something coming down the pipe for you here uh, you just need to stay positive and keep plugging ahead I feel like you've done everything that you can possibly do and you won't be able to take action towards this new future until until the universe brings this element to you, brings this opportunity your way. And then I feel like you're just going to be able to continue on this new path that you've already created for yourself. Alrighty, guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. If it resonated with you, please feel free to share. And remember, if you want to participate in the free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you got to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the pot. Remember, we announce winner every Friday, guys. Alrighty, take care.